in the next 30 years, scientists say there is a one in three chance of a major earthquake on the Hayward Fault impacting millions across the East Bay. Now, as ABC 7 News reporter Jonathan Bloom explains, we're getting a clearer picture of what that impact would actually look like thanks to the powerful computers at the Lawrence Livermore National Lab. That is the deafening roar of cooling fans at this Lawrence Livermore Lab supercomputer. Hundreds of thousands of individual computer chips that are working together to solve one problem. One very big problem that could face the Bay Area any day now, a magnitude 7 earthquake on the Hayward Fault. An earthquake like this happened in 1868. Uh, but only 3,000 people lived in the East Bay. Now we've got two and a half million. With houses, freeways, and water mains, like this one in Hayward that finally burst after years of fault creep. Our water and electricity and the gas and uh, our transportation corridors have to cross many major faults. And this could help keep them safe. The earthquake starts in the north part near Richmond and travels to the south. The colors show the intensity of the ground shaking. It's not a real earthquake. It's the most detailed computer simulation ever made of a magnitude 7 quake in the East Bay, and it's based on real measurements. We look at small earthquakes like the magnitude 4 earthquake that happened in Berkeley last month. One thing the simulation shows more clearly than ever is that when it comes to shaking, the East Bay is backward. The hills shake more, and the flat areas? shake less. These rocks have been dragged along the Hayward Fault over millions of years and they've been scrunched up and compressed and thickened. Meaning the hills are made of soft rock that could shake far more than the flatlands west of the fault. The simulated quake runs for 20 seconds but here in Livermore the ground shakes for a minute and a half because of soft sediment layered on top of the bedrock. We still have these yellow values here which indicate motions that are capable of damage. Damage, especially to buildings not built for it, like we saw in the South Napa quake. Better simulations could help engineers. To design the structures to make them most uh, resilient. In Livermore, Jonathan Bloom, ABC 7 News.